Hi, my name's Linda Messenger, and this is my new YouTube channel called Zwifting with Granny and Coach Morgan. Now, you may say, why is she in her car? Well, Coach Morgan, who is in the back seat there, uh, requires going bye-byes in the car and chicken for her coaching services. So this is uh, payment at this time. So if you're watching this video, you probably already know what Zwift is, but in case you don't know what it is, I hope to teach you about it and get you interested in it as a platform that would be really fun to get fit on, especially for seniors who have mobility issues because that was my story. So a little bit about me. I'm currently 12 years old. I've just been 12 years old for 53 years now. Uh, I'm a lifelong cyclist except for a brief period of time and cycling has always been my passion. I have osteoarthritis. It's very painful. It's mostly in my back and my knees. I'm trying not to trip over her leash. Um, I found that when I rode my bike, I would be much more limber and able to walk around better and be in less pain. So I decided that I really had to start riding year round. Now I live in New Jersey. You can't ride year round. Well, you can, but you're going to be in a lot of pain in the winter, which was my case. And I almost tripped on the leash again. So I decided that I had to really invest in Zwift because it would allow me to ride year round and to really have a life because I couldn't move. It was very painful. A lot of times I walked with a cane or with a walker and anyone who's done that, you know, that's not fun. So this has opened up my whole life. Official disclaimer, a Zwift will decide how hard it is for you to ride up hills by what weight you enter into it. I am no lightweight. And what was happening was because I am not a lightweight, I was having a lot of trouble and some pain climbing up the hills in Zwift because when you're on the smart trainer, it simulates the actual feeling of climbing a hill. Uh, I spoke to many different people about it, who many friends of mine who are on Zwift, and they all said to me, Linda, it's basically a game. Lower your weight so that it's easier for you to ride up the hills because there's no sense in me getting hurt if the reason that I'm on Zwift in the first place is to not be hurt. So I went up some hills and I would gradually experiment with different weights until I found a weight that I am able to ride on. It, it's difficult, it's very difficult, but it's not causing any pain in my knees. Now the good thing is that since then I've already lost over 30 pounds being on Zwift. So the, the weight that I chose is actually my goal weight and I will be there at one point. Now I have a lot of goals. One goal that I have, and one of the goals that I'm going to be pursuing with this channel is to be able to ride 100 miles in one shot. Now there is a course on Zwift called the Uber Pretzel, and that course is around 100 miles. It's very hilly, it's very challenging, and that's the course I want to be able to finish. I want to be able to finish it without falling off the bike unconscious and waiting for the coach to lick my face to wake me up. Now I just want to take you through my setup. This is my bike. It's a specialized Dolce. It's a 2010 model. This is my baby. This is my pride and joy. I love this bike and it must have over easily 15,000 road miles on it. So this is a pleasure to ride on Zwift. I'm using the Wahoo Core Trainer. It is a direct wheel trainer and it's fantastic. Uh, I love it. I had a, a snap, a Wahoo snap before this. It, for me, it wasn't good because it produced a lot of strain on my knees, but this thing is awesome. You will also see here two uh, carpet-covered milk crates. Well, that's because I can't really twist myself to get up on the seat, so I climb up on these milk crates, and it makes it a lot safer for me to get on and off. And here's one important piece of equipment that I need to mention. Get a good fan. I have the tape on it and around it because that if I have to move things, I know where to put it back because I have the angles that work the best for me. And as you see, the coach approves, but uh, you got to get a good fan. If you don't have uh, one of these turbo fans, get something, get three regular house fans, at least something on you so you don't overheat. Wahoo makes a really neat fan that uh, adjusts with the amount of power you put into it, but get a fan. As you can see, I guess I have a thing for milk crates. I have a side table up on a milk crate 
which is about the height that I need it for, uh, to reach over for a water bottle, the remote, anything I may need, I just put on that table. So that's it. Just wanted to give you an intro and let you know what the channel will be about. And I really hope you like and subscribe. See ya.